Hey guys, Brewery 602 Beer Reviews here, at Brewery 602 on Instagram. My name is Marcus, and today I have a beer out of Beer Research Institute, that's BRI, located in Mesa, Arizona. This is Coconut Pineapple Urban Banger, coming in at 6.5% ABV. It is a New England style IPA. Now, I have been to the brewery. Um, they have really good food, and of course, fantastic beer. So, if you're ever in uh, the Phoenix area, you come down to visit or whatever. Uh, if you're in like downtown Phoenix, for instance, the brewery's right off the, the highway. So it's probably, even from downtown, it's probably only like a 10 minute drive. So very easy to get to. Again, excellent food. It's in a complex where there's a movie theater and a lot of stuff to do. So great place to go visit. Um, and again, I love coconut and pineapple in beer. So I had to pick this up uh, to try it out. So let's crack her open. I did brew a beer uh, like this, a pina colada milkshake IPA. This doesn't say it's a milkshake, but because um, it doesn't, a milkshake would just say like it has lactose in it, right? It has milk sugar in it to make it a milkshake. But this does not say that is a milkshake. So it should be a slightly different than BRI brewed. Anyway, always cool can art from BRI. Let's get a, uh, so the color is, it's super opaque. Um, it's opaque uh, pineapple juice is what it looks like. Looks like uh, straight up pineapple juice. A uh, very nice white head on it, compact bubbles. Looks fantastic in the glass. Let me get a dry by aroma. Mm, yeah, nice. So on the dry by you get pineapple immediately and, and you get some coconut in the background too. So that's really good. Ooh, there's even a uh, kind of a peach kind of character to it as well. Uh, could be like the pineapple playing with the the, the hops and um, you know playing around maybe with the malts a little bit. Let me get a deeper aroma. Yeah, it's the coconut. So the coconut and pineapple are definitely in there. You can tell that it has coconut pineapple in it, which is really nice. But you also have that really good. Um, New England IPA kind of uh, feel to it as well. Um, they have a beer called Urban Art, which I, I think this kind of emulates a little bit with coconut and pineapple in it. So that's actually pretty dang cool. Um, let me get a taste on it. Cheers. So first of all, you do get a lot of coconut. The, the issue I'm having right now is I, I'm getting some grassiness out of this beer. Um, it's like a fresh hop astringency. It is astringent. And there's some pineapple in there too. But the astringency is kind of a little bit big on this beer. Um, there is, I was looking at it, <laughs> I was staring at it because there is a ton of matter floating around in this beer. I mean... You won't be able to pick it up, but there is just a ton of floaties in this beer, whether it be um, the coconut, whether it be uh, like pineapple fiber or, or hot matter um, or all three, whatever it is, it, it's I would think all three because it is extremely, extremely full of floaties. The thing is just dense. Um, swirl it and pour more because it's very very curious that there's a lot of matter in this thing so it is super thick and opaque but at the same time there's like it's as if uh you know fresh pineapple juice or um actually okay so i know what it is <laughs> it's a beer with pulp <laughs> is what it is it's a beer with pulp in it um you want your New England IPA, um, you want it either fresh squeezed or you want it pulp, you know? And this is a New England IPA with pulp. The pineapple and coconut 
it's unmistakable. It's definitely there. Now, that astringency is a little off-putting to me. So, not sure what to do about that. Um, the grassiness is a little off-putting. It's a little bit masking the actual base beer and this. And again, um, I wish you would be able to see this on camera. Um, you'll, you'll never be able to actually see that because it's, you know, it's going to be hard to see. But there's a lot of stuff floating around in there. And if it's hop matter, that could be that biting astringency because hops do that. I mean, you can't just eat a hop. I mean, it's, it's just disgusting. Um, so it could be that maybe if they, um, it's almost as if, so a little bit of brewing 101, um, whenever you're fermenting your beer, after your, your beer is done fermenting, uh, a lot of times you'll do what's called a cold crash. So you cold crash your beer, which means you're going to drop it to like serving temperature or below, sometimes like 34 degrees, 35 degrees, something like that you'll drop it to. And what will happen is the beer will flocculate. Um, so the yeast will flocculate. So a flocculate just means to drop down, right? So the yeast and a lot of times uh, the hot matter and, and anything else just drops to the very bottom of the fermenter. So leaving you with just your beer. And whenever you rack your beer, you put your beer, um, keg your beer, whatever, you're going to do, bottle it. You just take everything on top of that trub. Oh, that trub is just the nastiness on the bottom. It's the, the yeast and the hops and whatever else you used in it. Uh, whatever, if you threw adjuncts in there, that's what it is. So you put your beer and you'll just rack everything that's above that and leaving you with a clean beer. Now, the thing nowadays is just, uh, and I've done it before too, is I've actually kegged beer um, right after fermentation and did not cold crash it because I wanted to keep it hazy. You know, I wanted to keep it hazy. I wanted to keep the yeast in suspension. Sometimes that's not a good idea because those yeast is not, is not the greatest thing to be drinking, right? So I don't know what happened here. All I know is there's a lot of hops. There's a lot of matter floating around in the beer. And it, again, some people don't like um, you know, Greg beer reviews, right? <laughs> People don't like junk in the trunk. This is um, a Cadillac trunk full, filled to the brim. Um, and probably the most uh, matter I've ever seen in any beer. So if you don't like that, uh, you know, you're not going to like this beer. That being said, it is not a bad beer. <laughs> it's actually not bad at all. The, the, the pineapple and coconut character is really good. Um, you can still get a bit of the base beer, so not bad at all. Uh, I, I would prefer it without all this matter in it, to be honest with you, because uh, that would probably take away some of that astringency. Overall, I'm going to give the beer an 80... I'll go 85. I'll go 85 on the beer. I'll give it an 85. Um, it'd probably score way higher. It'd be mid-90s if that astringency wasn't there. So... I, I go 85 on the beer. Again, this is Beer Research Institute out of Mesa, Arizona. Awesome place to go to. Go check it out. Again, my name is Marcus, Brewery 602 Beer Reviews. Please like, follow, and subscribe. Cheers.